So in this question, it gives us two functions, f of x and g of x, and it describes them below. You can see f is a square root equation, and g is a linear equation, negative 7x plus b. And then it says, consider a standard xy coordinate plane, you know, one of these things, okay, y and x, in which y equals g of f of x. And that line, and we're talking about this line right here, that equation, that passes through the point 3 comma 8, which is going to be somewhere over here, right? It's going to be x equals 3, y equals 8. It passes through that point, and it wants to know what's the value of b. So there's a lot going on here. Let's try to uh, step back and break this apart for a moment. We'll think about this. Um, when it says, I think this is the important point, when it says in which y equals blah, blah, blah passes through the point, what they're talking about is an equation of a line right here. So let's figure out what this is. If we can figure out what that is, I'll bet we could solve the rest of it. So I'm going to say y equals g of f of x. Okay, what is that thing? Well, f of x is right up here. That's square root of x minus 3. So this is g of square root of x minus 3. And if you have seen compositions before, I'm going to write that word down. This is a composition function or a composite function. If you've seen these before, great. If not, oh well, we're going to learn it now. Uh, what you do with the composite function is you take one function and you stick it in the other. So in this case, we're taking f and we're sticking it into g. Normally, you're used to talking about g of x, right? Well, this isn't g of x. It's g of that thing, g of square root of x minus 3. So what I'm going to do is write the g equation. Remember what that is. Uh, uh, g of x equals negative 7x plus b. I'm going to take this equation, and everywhere I see x, I'm going to replace it with the square root of x minus 3. Okay, So this becomes negative 7 times, not x, negative 7 times the square root of x minus 3. And then you have that plus b. And remember what this is. This is y, this thing right here that we're talking about. y equals that. So let's just simplify this a little bit right here. y equals negative 7 times the square root of x minus 3 plus b. And you might be looking at like this like, oh, wow, this is getting messy. Um, let's take this 3 comma 8 and plug it in. And I guarantee it's going to get nicer. So when you plug that in, what does this mean? Think about this point. That is a point on the xy coordinate plane. And what it means to have a line pass through that is that here's the x location, and there's the y location. So you can plug those in as values. You say 8 equals negative 7 times x equals 3 minus 3 plus b. Well, now we have a, an equation with just numbers in it and a letter b, which we're going to figure out. So I'm going to say 8 equals negative 7 times the square root of 0 plus b. And the square root of 0, you should know that. It's 0. Uh, and 0 times 7 is 0. So what we get, this whole thing crosses out, is just 8 equals b. Okay, so that's our answer. You can see that as one of the selections right here. So just to review what just happened, um, we had a line right here, this y equals thing, and it was complicated. So we kind of broke that apart one step at a time. We took g of f of x, plugged in f, okay, this equation right here. We plugged that in to g. And then we wrote it out like this. And once we had that equation, ugly as it was, we just took the number or the coordinate point, 3 comma 8, and plugged it into that equation. That's called evaluating a function at a point. And that led us to this thing right here. 8 equals b. And every time uh, you face this particular problem, you would just do it that way. This is going to give you practice at not only doing a, comp a composition or evaluating a composite function, it's also going to give you practice evaluating functions at a particular point. So it's kind of a two for one.